Hello everyone! Well, is that a surprise? Usually I come live right here Thursday night. Well, I know it's Thursday about lunchtime. I am not doing Create on the Fly tonight because I got a YouTube class scheduled for the same time. So at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, the class is delivering a cheer. So I'm going to share a quick card today right now with that set and share what's the class it's going to be about tonight right now if you look me i'm looking kind of yo-yo i'm looking to see if i am live i want to make sure that i am at the correct place and that i can see the comments and see if you can hear me i think so i want to make sure yeah that seemed right okay so, I know this was not announced, so we'll see here if I get in. Oh, I see some people uh, jumping in. Awesome, awesome. So, I'm trying to pop that page. It's a way to do that. I will find it one little second here. Here we go, and open in a new tab. One second, why, okay, wait, there it is. Open in a new tab. Ha, got it, patient, patient. Okay, so. I won't even worry to find it because I see you're there. If you can tell me, if you can hear me, that's the most important thing. So, hello, I see good morning. It's good afternoon, good morning, where, wherever you're at. Hello, my friends. So, um, I'm a little bit excited about um, the class. It's a stamp set that um, it seemed it was, I overlook at it and I designed this class back when, when I write the PDF when I was at my mom and that was in September when I went to see her. So I think, and then it was so many other things that I wanted to push ahead of that because of, uh, you know, while supplies last with dyes. So it got pushed back and it's the same that I'm going to have another class release Monday, Strong of Art. That's the one that $3 go to the heart uh, health that's going to be released uh, Monday. It's seen, oh my goodness, we're in December, the catalog is finishing. So I don't see, oh, I can hear you. Perfect, Sue, thank you. I was looking, where's the voice? Perfect. So this is the stamp set that we gonna concentrate and I concentrate on it, not for Christmas card. Cause really this set is way more than Christmas card. So let me flip you down. But the greeting, it says sending love, Christmas cheer, uh, warming thoughts to you this season. So it's more a holiday greeting. So like for the birthday or the thank you, I add peaceful moments. So if you're getting the class in the mail, uh, some of the greeting you're gonna have to use some of your stamp set cause really the class come with this stamp set but then I switch them of the greeting. So you're going to have to use some in your hand or use whatever you would like. So let me flip you down. Here we go. So this is, uh, this is something like this we're going to do today. A very simple, quick, simple. I know a lot of you see that set and you're thinking coloring. Well, you can do it without coloring. So this, the one I'm sharing with you, it's the one that we're gonna to do tonight live. I'm gonna be live at, um, so 6 p.m. Mountain Time. That's gonna be 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 Mountain Time, 7 Central Time, and 8 Eastern Time. Thank you for the one that inviting your friends. So this one, it's an easel card, and this one, it's a Christmas one. So it's just using exactly this stamp set here. That's it, okay? So that is one. And now I'm using some of the peppermint gingerbread and peppermint paper, and that's all included in your kit if you buy the kit. And see, no coloring at all. 
and this one like i said i use some of the greeting on peaceful moment i like this greeting this is from the annual catalog and it is on page 24 i love because it covered a lot of the greeting congratulations thinking of you sympathy birthday uh happiness so it's a lot of greeting all in one so that a lot of times when I do a class and I want to mix greetings so then I can get quite a bit in this so this one it's thinking of you with all my heart so see it's nothing Christmas about this here now here's another one I use the happy birthday again from peaceful moment the greeting this I just colored with the pencil the water uh, pencil the watercolor pencil but didn't use water see very simple cards and that should be with this so i'm going to share all these tonight okay this one here would be perfect for birthday and this one it's a different fold see this way open see very and all this it's all the stamp set so you can kind of make your background and so on oh thank you so much uh karen and voila see the gift at the bottom happy birthday so i'm going to share all this tonight how i created this card and you can qualify for the download or you can buy the pdf i offer both ways now by request i'm offering both ways so if you buy what it's nice about when you buy the class in the mail it's everything come pre-done for you all pre-cut if it's some embossing it's embossed if it's some die cut because this is without a die it's all die cut so it's all prep and um, each piece it's all in their individual envelope so it's easy to make the class so this one like I said it's embossed again that's very it's nothing about winter well winter maybe because she get mittens but it's nothing about Christmas in these colors and voila I did the happy birthday again a border at the bottom now I did um, a tag because I thought that would make very nice tag so that's part of the class also the class uh, in the mail or the class tonight very very simple uh, gift tag right so you can get quite a bit of occasion in, occasion in this and um, then this one here again with the birthday and this is um, oh, what is those uh, cards it's the hand pen cards so you see they are bigger than a regular card so that again it's part of the class in if you order the class in the mail you get all that it's all ready to go you just have to assemble it so and boom so that it's coming up and like i said the other class that's coming up monday i get another class in the mail i already put it in my class in the mail if you go at frenchystamps.com you can see the picture there all the detail for the other class will be posted monday it's just like i said uh, December just poof it was here and I was not ready for that put it that way it's like I had too much to share so now I'm going to share with you this is not part of the class okay this is just extra card that I want to share how simple it is and so for this I really recommend to have the foam okay now we're going to take crumb cake and I am using, I think this is the e-block. Yes, the e-block. And you want it kind of clean, you know. And just tap your ink on it. Voila. And um, about the Strong of Art, the next class coming up. I don't know if you know, uh, you know a little bit of my background, but my family it's all about art disease my dad uh, passed when he was 50 years old a massive heart attack my mom got quadruple bypass uh, you can go down the road it's stroke heart 
all affected by the heart disease. So for me, I had to do something with that stamp set because it's three dollars that go for heart health. So that's one of the major thing I was determined, never mind it's right around Christmas, I had to do another class. And plus it would make a great Christmas present, right? Not only you're buying the a card kit with that one coming up, but also you make a difference for the heart health. So this year, it's the spritz and it's just water, okay? Nothing special in this, just water. Now, I like to go about 12 inch. This is my inky rack in the back. And I do a few spritz. Now, we're going to take this. And I should have done this first so it could have dried by the time I was talking. Oh, dang it. No problem. No problem. It's two sides to the paper. Just wipe this. We're going to wipe that. Man, I almost said bad words, right? <laughs> okay, where's my ink? All is good, my friend. Okay, we're going to tap, tap, tap. This is from cake. Now we're going to put this here. And I'm just laughing at myself. Okay, a few spritz. The more spritz you're going to have, the more wet it's going to be, the longer it's going to take to dry, but the more character you're going to get. Now I'm going to just put this. And this, by the way, it's on a regular vanilla that measure um, five by three and three quarter. Five by three and three quarter. See, it's all go like marble. And pull it. Put your finger on your paper there and pull. Voila! Is that cool? I think it is. So we're going to let that dry a bit. And so we're going to speed up the process. Oh, last time I did that, I, it went off my volume. Let's see if that's going to do. I'm going to dry. And when you dry, you want to go on both sides. And that's very important. And because that's going to stop the curling. See now it's curled. Then I go on the other side and it's going to flat it up. See how that works? It's wonderful. Here we go. Okay, because I am not live uh, create on the fly tonight, and usually I give my card, right, on Sunday. I'm going to give this one here. So just come and check back, and the winner, I pick the winner. I don't pick the winner. It's a uh, um, common uh, Facebook uh, picker. It's going to pick the winner for me. Okay, that's kind of dry enough. So we're going to use berry vanilla that measure four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half. This and this. And now I went and dig out. I still have some because I absolutely love them. So this one here, it's the same we're doing. We're going to do in the blue. I thought that would be a great Christmas, and uh, not Christmas, but it would be a great Christmas card. But the thank you card after Christmas, see? It's kind of that greenery in there. I thought that would be perfect. Well, I got uh, this ribbon here. It's the gray granite, uh, yeah, gray granite, the shimmer ribbon. And did you know what I went and dig out? It's down to like three something and compared to nine. Those slider, those antique embellishment, they update the clearance rack yesterday. Well, let me tell you, quite a bit it's gone, but still quite a bit it's there. It's amazing, amazing uh, product there. You want to go check it out. See, you just put it in your ribbon. Okay, let's say that you don't have the ribbon that match, okay? So what you can do, I had shared that, but I'm going to share it again. Just in case if you didn't see that. So let's say you don't have the ribbon, but you really want to put that thing. Cut a quarter inch, strip of a quarter inch there, and then you're going to take, you're going to take your bone folder, roll, 
roll, roll, and roll. And then, oops, where did I put it? Now you're going to take this. Roll, roll. Uh, okay, quarter inch. You want to go just a little bit, I thought so. A little bit smaller than a quarter inch. I'm going to make it work here. Well, one second. It's going to be a lot easier to use a new one. Okay, just below a quarter inch. So really, it would be like three, uh, yeah, three eighths. Here we go. And now I got it too small, but you're going to get uh, the jig a bit. Okay, so and the reason you want to take the bone folder to do this, it's, um, it break the fiber in the paper and then it's going to move all smoothly without cracking the paper. See? Boom. Now I get the perfect, see if I, who I thought to do a uh, Knight of Navy, but man, do I like that. Um, not Knight of Navy, uh, Moonlight. You know what? I absolutely love this here. So we'll. Hmm. Okay, we are. That's why this is called kind of create on the fly. I am using Blackberry Bliss. I absolutely love Blackberry Bliss with this. So, change of. Uh, we're doing a detour. We're going to cut this at four by five and a quarter. I was planning to use uh, Misty Moonlight, but oh, those color here, that is striking, baby. So now I need my ink pad. I think that is just plain gorgeous, right? Okay, so we're going to use, because it's photopolymer, I recommend this. And now we're going to use, uh, it doesn't matter. Some people like to use the body first. Some people like to use this first. Uh, to be honest, it, 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 it's no difference. But for this, you want to make sure this is dry. And this is a great technique if you don't like to watercolor, okay? Or if you don't like to color point blank. Because I won't color this. So I'm stamping in Blackberry Bliss. Voila. And then I'm using like the brand sheer. I'm doing that in Blackberry Bliss also. And then see, you can line that up very, very easy. I bet you see my little head there, but you know what? I need to see what I'm doing. And we're gonna smack that right here. Et voila, very, so simple. Now, if you wanna crank it up a notch, add a little bit of bling to it, we can use the wink of Stella while it's still, and then just add a little bit of this. So that's going to spread the color a bit because it make the color bleed a bit. So I'm using that on just those uh, branch there. It's nothing that look about Christmas on this. I really don't think so. Here we go. Now, we're not doing a Christmas card, so we're gonna. I'm gonna use the uh, thank you. Where oh, I got happy birthday here. You know what? We're gonna do happy birthday because I got happy birthday. So <clears throat> again, I'm mixing this stamp set with the grading of the peaceful moment, just because I want to share that it's not just Christmas delivering cheer. You can deliver cheer all year long, my friend. Now, I'm going to put my happy birthday right here. I won't even put a circle or nothing. Very, very simple. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I was planning to use those antique uh, embellishment. So, let's uh, see if I'm doing the ribbon. Because now, I really like that ribbon and that. Let's see one minute here. We're going to put this at the top. 
you know what I want to make sure because it curled a little bit I didn't dry more I want to make sure to put right on the edge so then it's lay flat here we go I absolutely absolutely love this color combo okay love it I think it's very striking but very simple so that was coming you know the slider that I share with you that it's part of that and I thought to add that there so if I do add that there can I still put my yep we're gonna have the whole shebang my friend we're gonna jazz that up like we didn't know what to do with or i just love that love it and i'm sure that in the past you saw me use uh, those embellishments because they've been one of my favorite okay so now we're gonna take this and put that right under here never mind the don't pay attention to this because i'm going to share what we're going to do with that to move it okay that and then now this is too long here we're just going to cut that so that is a great way to uh when you don't have the ribbon i mean how simple and you can do that even without the oops that's not straight there what happened here did I move that while I was chit-chatting? I sure did. Okay, let's put that here. Let's make sure it's on the right way. It's a great way to use, uh, you know, scrap paper to like a ribbon. Okay, now this is not at the right place. You're going to slide it. Now let's get my, where's my, here it is blue dots because i didn't plan to use that one here see gonna lift this up put that there so now it don't move it's the same thing with the ribbon see i didn't put it there because i'm like i'm gonna do that to show you guys live so see i got my uh, glue dots there just lift it up where you want it and that's gonna secure it and it won't move and see here i get a little pucker in my uh, thing because i didn't put that tight enough no problem glue dots it's your duct tape in your craft room okay absolutely duct tape can fix everything in real life i think in most a lot of this stuff well in our craft room you want to have always glue dot on end because that is our duct tape in our craft room it surely is mine now these little thing here i'm gonna put that with my glue dots take this gonna come here just go off that a bit voila and then i got another one here so uh those little embellishment i think they are 350 but what i'm saying it's um how long they're gonna last i don't know how much stamping up at leftovers so we don't know um i got the fiasco here i put ribbon around my glue dots so then it's easier to and it don't unroll on me and so on um so those little embellishment i don't know how long they're gonna last they're in the clearance rack okay so they won't last long so you can stock up i absolutely love them and they would be so cute in a craft um in a scrapbook page like the antique one if you get like picture of grandma and grandpa you know that a sepia tone oh that would be so lovely so so lovely okay now let me share how we're going to do the inside the inside of the card let me grab a scrappy paper here <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i'm going to use this here and we're going to use the same color so uh, blackberry bliss and we're just going to use the bottom 
Et voilà. And I could have done the whole around. I got a card tonight that I'm going to share with that. But for this one, just the bottom here. And see, boom, we get the match. Well, then I would say, don't forget your envelope. So I would take my envelope and we would do the same thing on the envelope. Oops, I should add my thing under. Here we go. So now we get the envelope. So you see, even if you don't like to color, this stamp set, you can use it without coloring. Very friendly still without coloring. Also, oh, I absolutely, the card that I just did. Also, um, if you like coloring, well, good. And it's not just for Christmas, see? Happy birthday, thank you, different set. This one here, I did it like more like, I'm thinking dead snow, and I put warming uh, thoughts to you this season, but then I just add little blinks on this, see? So very simple, and tonight, and that was another one uh, that didn't make for the class, but I thought, hmm, very uh, fun. So the class in the mail, or the class I'm going to do tonight, I'm offering the class in the mail, all the details, it's on my blog at frenchystamps.com, and also, uh, I hope you can join us tonight. Let me uh, show you how you can get those embellishments there. So if you go at frenchystamps.com, let me pull this out here. Uh, okay, so if you go at let me shut this light here. It's going to be better. So if you go at frenchystamp.com, and I'm on a, a tablet, so if you're on the phone, uh, you're going to have like what we call the hamburger line. You're going to click on that for uh, get the top menu so you could get the class there. Or you can go on the home page, and right there, the first one, that's where we talk about the class for tonight. If you go there, read more you're going to have for the class now to go shopping you're going to click shop 24 7 and that's when if you're on the phone then to go shopping from my site you're going to click on those three little buttons uh, let me uh, pull you there so to go shopping you see on the phone you get three little lines you get a tough time oh here we go three little lines we call that the hamburger that's what it's called i guess and you're going to go shop and then 24 7. that's going to bring you to my online store so now here we're on the online store you can click again on the three little lines the hamburger there make sure you see my name when you shop with me but to um, shop the clearance rack, we're going to go uh, special on the three little lines, special, sale and special, click on that. Now it's going to bring you the clearance, click on the clearance, and here it is. Very amazing, amazing deal there. Maybe if I do this, this, you're going to see a little bit better. Uh, you get the golden uh, designer acetate also you get some blend you get some designer syrup paper i mean 450 for designer syrup paper see those cute little um uh, uh ladybug Ooh, hoo, hoo. and it's a stamp set coming with ladybug that would be awesome with it you get embossing folder uh, you get so much but like i and don't forget load mode more you get a lot that it's gone. Here are embellishment. They were eight fifty. They're now uh, down to three forty. Now you're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna add to the cart. Boom! It's done. Now we're gonna go back. So that's how you're gonna go shop your clearance. You have to make sure you click lo uh, load more at the bottom. Another thing, the carry bag for the stamparatus. Let me share with you. Um, that would make an awesome gift. That is um, $12.50. And here is my bag. That's fit your stamparatus. I get all my plates in it. You get extra room. 
it would make a very awesome gift also for Christmas. Somebody, one of your craft buddy, that would be awesome. Now I need to turn back the light. I feel I'm in the dark. So that is it, my friend. So again, the clearance rack, that is, like we say, the early bird get the warm. That's pretty much what's going on with the a clearance rack. So how long it's going to last? Depends. We had quite a bit more stuff yesterday. And I sent an early newsletter. So again, if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, just go at FrenchyStamps.com. At the bottom of each post, you can subscribe to get my blog post delivered in your inbox and also the newsletter. The newsletter usually I send about, about once a week. And usually that I get extra um, like cards with the download ex that it's not on my blog. And also that's where I share the flash news like the clearance rack yesterday. So that is it, my uh, friends. Yes, very, very great stuff in the clearance rack. It's worth going. Look at it. Some, st I mean, amazing markdown. Amazing. And a lot of it would be great, like little embellishment like that, ribbon and so on, uh, for a, a stocking stuffer if, let's say, your sister is a crafter or your mom or your BFF, whatever. It's a lot of stuff there, like that bag for uh, mm, so many wanted it a couple of months ago, and I said, we don't have it anymore. And now I try to remember who contacted me that wanted the Stamparatus bag. Well, I think I find a few, but yeah. So it's a great time. So, okay, my friends, be ready. Tonight, we're going to stamp some more with Delivering Cheer. Everybody's welcome. The class is open to everybody that you take the class, purchase the class or not. Everybody is welcome to join for the class on YouTube tonight. Just go at FrenchyStamps.com. You can log de uh, there on uh, YouTube. And then, then it's up to you if you want to buy the class or qualify for the PDF download. So that is it, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping, and we'll see you tonight. Bye-bye for now.